Good morning, treasurers. This is your host, Pat Shah from Night FinTech, and you are listening to Night Snippets. Here is what you need to know before going into trade for 27th October 2021. In the international market, investors are gearing up for next week's central bank's meeting for potential tapering of bond buying program. US 10 year closed pretty much flat at 163 and 30 year at 2.05 percentage points on Tuesday. In the crude oil market, crude is trading at $85.77 per barrel. Short term range for crude is 83 to 87. In the currency market, dollar index or DXY is at 93.94. DXY's today's range seems to be 93.76 to 94.17. 94 is still turning out to be a big hurdle for dollar index. USD CNY or Chinese Yuan is at 639. USD INR on the other hand with a high of 7517 closed at 7496, a close below 75. Support at 7480 and resistance at 7520 does exist. Trading strategy for USD INR as Knight's research team had informed, USD INR is flirting with 75, dollar ma- 75 rupees per dollar mark. USD INR will continue to trade in a very narrow range and unlikely to cross 75.25 for a few days. In the domestic market, 7-day VRRR cutoff came at 3.99 percentage points. Again, the higher VRRR cutoff are seen as RBI's signal to hike the reverse repo rate soon and effectively they are already doing it via VRRR. Traders are expecting OMO or OT from RBI but are afraid of taking any position at current junction. 563 2026 closed at 573 versus 573 the previous trading day. This seems to be a very good trade for the next few days. 563. 610 2031 closed at 636 versus 635 the previous trading day. As far as the OIS curve goes, one year at 431 versus 428 on Monday. Two year OIS at 487 versus 480 on Monday. A seven basis point increase in the OIS curve for two year. 5-year OIS is at 564 versus 563, almost unchanged. 26 October 2021 SDL auction analysis, 5-year Assam at 609, 6-year Rajasthan at 634, 7-year Chhattisgarh at 662, 7-year Haryana at 663, 10-year Gujarat at 693, 10-year Rajasthan at 696 and 10-year UP at 699. 10-year has not crossed 7% yet. As far as the trading strategy for bond market goes, as we mentioned, there are no positional opportunities as of now. Intraday is the only possible trading opportunity for the market. For OMO OT trade, 610-2031 and 667-2035 are the most suitable candidates and one can take positions based on their current holdings. In the trading range for 610-2031 would be 634-637. to That's it for today. See you tomorrow with a new episode of Night Snippets.